Hi guys, welcome to my latest TechCrunch channel. Qualcomm recently unveiled a new processor, the Snapdragon 665 on A8 in San Francisco along with Snapdragon 730 and 730G. The new chipset represents updates to Qualcomm's mid-range and upper mid-range lineup in 600 and 700 series. Samsung recently launched Galaxy A50 smartphone with Exynos 9610 processor. Let's see how Exynos 9610 processor stands in competition with Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 655 processor. In future, we are going to see so many smartphones with these chipsets. Without any further delay, let's start the comparison. Coming to the first and foremost important aspect is the CPU. Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 is a 64-bit octa-core processor in which 4 cores are high-performance Cryo 260 cores clocked at 2 GHz and 4 power-efficient Cryo 260 cores which are based on ARM Cortex-A53 clocked at 1.8 GHz. On the other hand, Exynos 9610 uses 4 plus 4 combination setup in which 4 are high-performance cores which are based on ARM Cortex-A73 clocked at 2.3 GHz and 4 power-efficient cores which are based on ARM Cortex-A53 clocked at 1.7 GHz. Both processors are really good, but there is a slight bump of 300 MHz in high-performance cores in Exynos 9610 slightly edges the Snapdragon 665. Coming to the other important aspect is the GPU. Everyone loves playing games. The gaming experience is entirely depends on GPU. Let's see what this process offers in terms of GPU. Snapdragon 665 comes with Arduino 610 GPU. Qualcomm claims that this GPU is 20% power efficient compared to its previous generation and well optimized. On the other hand, Exynos 9610 processor uses ARM Mali G72 MP3 GPU. If you want performance comparison of this GPU, we have already seen this in Helio P60 based phones in Nokia 5 Plus Realme 1, which exactly uses the Mali G72 MP3 GPU. This GPU can handle heavier games like PUBG, Asphalt 9 games without any hiccups with particularly smooth performance. Though both GPUs are good, Snapdragon 665 Arduino GPU easily outperforms Exynos 9610 Mali GPU with its superior architecture and optimization. The Artificial Intelligence Artificial intelligence is a must feature in today's smartphones. Let's see what this process offers in terms of AI. The Snapdragon 665 has Hexagon 686 DSP which consists of third generation AI engine which has AI performance numbers 614 GMAX. GMAC is a DSP performance measure unit which stands for Giga Multiplier Accumulates per Second. On the other hand, Exynos 9610 processor features a vision image processing unit based on deep learning technology. There is no AI performance numbers for this processor to compare with Snapdragon 665. But this visual image processing unit consists of a DSP that effectively converts unlocked streams of images and video into a digital signal and a neural network engine that analyzes the face, objects and surroundings through a deep learning based algorithm. Both these processes offer great AI features. But Snapdragon 665 AI performance easily dominates Samsung Exynos 9610 processor. The Image Signal Processing Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 has Spectra 165 ISP which supports single 25 megapixel camera or dual 16 megapixel cameras. Moreover, this ISP supports triple camera setup and 48 megapixel snapshot. In video department, it supports 4K 30 frames per second. Whereas Exynos 9610 processor's ISP supports single 24 megapixel camera or dual 16 megapixel cameras. In video department, it supports 4K at 120 frames per second. In terms of ISP, both processors are good. But in camera department, Snapdragon 665 slightly adjusts with its additional support for 48 megapixel snapshot and triple camera support. Whereas in video department, Exynos 9610 takes the lead with its support for 4K at 120 frames per second. Connectivity Both processors support Category 12 and 13 with downloading and uploading speeds at 600 and 150 Mbps respectively. Both processors modem also features dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5 and GPS etc. Both processors are evenly matched. RAM and Storage Both processors use LPDDR4X RAM and EMMC or UFS 2.1 support. But it's worth mentioning that Snapdragon 665 supports higher frequency LPDDR4X RAM compared to Exynos 9610 processor. But it doesn't affect the performance much. I have already made a dedicated video on RAM and storage technologies. In those videos, I have explained how much they impact our smartphone performance. If you are interested, you can check the description for the video link. 
the fabrication process. Coming to the fabrication process, Snapdragon 665 goes with 11 nanometer process, whereas the Exynos 9610 comes with 10 nanometer process. In terms of low power efficiency, Exynos 9610 takes the lead. In my opinion, both processes are good. Most of the aspects, they are evenly matched. In some aspects like GPU, A, and image signal processing, Snapdragon 665 takes the lead. But in terms of CPU and low power efficiency, Exynos 9610 takes the lead. In overall, Snapdragon 665 is a power pack with great features. In my opinion, Exynos 9610 gave tough competition to Snapdragon 665. What do you guys say? Which one do you think is the best process? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That's it for now in this video. I hope you find this video informative. If you like this video, like it, share it and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.